Welcome back, everyone, and happy December to you. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving uh, with your family and um, enjoyed your time in Parker Online last week. So since we've been away, there have been a few changes in our health and safety precautions. Starting today, we're requiring 100% masking indoors. Masking, that means that when you're inside, you need to be sure to, to wear your mask. So if you need to have a, lunch, a water break or anything like that, you need to step outside to, to take your drink of water. Everyone will eat lunch outside on the concrete part of the field or on the library patio. We've also set up an area in the faculty parking lot where students can have lunch on distanced chairs. Don't worry, we've made sure that all the cars are out of the lot and um, Shorty and his crew have marked uh, little dots their little masks all over the all over the school um, to help us know where you should be sitting. You're going to pick up your lunch and your teacher will walk you to your area where you'll find your dot to eat lunch. That was a really big job that they did. So uh, make sure you give Shorty an air high five today. We also want to be sure that everyone completes Emoka daily. You must complete EMOCA to come to campus, obviously, but we're asking everyone to complete EMOCA, even if you're an at-home learner, so we can gather data for our Parker community. If we don't have a complete picture, this can impact our impressions about the percentage of students that are sick or well. So thank you for helping us make Parker as safe as it can be. You may notice that the flag is at half staff today. It is at half staff in honor of National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day. And Mrs. Ruggles gave me this um, to let me know, and I wanted to share this with you. Um, Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day occurs on December 7th of each year, designated in memory of the lives lost in the 1941 attack to remember that we enjoy freedom and thanks, thanks to their sacrifice. On Monday, December 7th, 2020, in honor of National Pearl Harbor Remembrance Day, and the American flag should be flown at half staff from sunrise until sunset to honor those who died as a result of the attack on the US military forces in Hawaii. So just wanted to make sure that you knew that um, when you're walking through campus today, or if you see uh, flags at half staff um, around, the, around the city. So this is my last chance to do Pledge of Allegiance and Strive before we have our new student council presidents in place. We'll, we'll hear their speeches a little bit later. So let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. Hands over your hearts. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now to say strive, seek always to do your best, treat people and property with respect, revere the truth, invest in your future, value school rules, your heritage and personal responsibility and enrich the world for all. I'm looking forward to this, the student council presidents leading us through the pledge and through strive. Um, we are going to, they're going, you're gonna share, they're gonna share their, um, speeches today, and then we will vote by Friday. And at fr on Friday at noon, we will know who our new president is for the trimester. So today we have Miss Tran playing uh, the birthday, birthday cheer. Hi everybody, it's Miss Tran again, here to do some birthday cheers and celebrations for this week. So usually I have some fun birthday cheers for you, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to try something different. How about some birthday trivia? Before I dive into that birthday trivia, I want to celebrate these two fantastic individuals who work here and are having a birthday this week. We're going to start off with Alexa Fry, who is the fantastic associate teacher for 3P, and Ms. Cheryl Bruiser, who is a wonderful AT in SKP, and she is celebrating her birthday on the 11th. So let's proceed now with some birthday trivia. And then you can stand if you want, um, maybe not during the whole time, but stand for a little bit and give yourself a little cheer. Let's give yourself a little cheer if it's your birthday this week. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. And then now let's dive into some birthday trivia. Here we go. Trivia question number one. What is the average number of people celebrating their birthday around the world today? Your choices are A, 200 million, B, 30 million, C, 
15 million, D, 1 billion. Make your guess, make your guess. Is it A, B, C, or D? Make your guess. I'm going to reveal the answer in three, two, one. 15 million, woohoo! Wow, that's a lot of people singing happy birthday today. Okay, trivia question number two, here we go. Trivia question number two, in the United States, birthday cards account for blank percent of cards purchased each year. Hmm, I hope you're all buying birthday cards for people, by the way, and not just sending texts, which I am guilty of at times, but send those birthday cards. It's a big deal. It's important to take that time to do so. So anyway, back to the question. In the United States, birthday cards account for blank percent of cards purchased each year. A, 58%, B, 30%, C, 75%, D, 90%. Make your guesses, make your guesses, make your guesses. What do you think it is? Here we go in three, two, one. 58%, the answer is 58%, more than half. Send your loved ones a written card instead of a text. They're the best. That's it for me right now. Thanks for enjoying my little beret. Have a wonderful birthday week and have a great week in general. Take care, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you, Miss Tran. That was super fun. Uh, we have student birthdays this week. We have quite a few. We have Teddy Raphael, Dominic Maldonado, David Benitez, Boone Russell, Skylar Williams, Alice Lilly, Vivian Blair, Hezekiah Hill, Caden N N Nujuskin, Benji Nicholas, and Bijou Apostolidis. So happy birthday to all of you. Hopefully you got up and did yourself a little birthday cheer. Uh, we have the sentence of the week for Spanish and Mandarin coming up. The phrase of the week is an honor strive. Your future depends on what you do today, not tomorrow. Repeat that in Espanol. Espanol. Tu factura. Depende de. Lo que hoy. No, no mañana. Gracias. 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 Ni hao, bai li ke. The sentence of the week is, your future depends on what you do today, not tomorrow. Please repeat after me. Jing tian, zhuo shen me, jue ding. Jiang Lai Shi Shema. When I say Xie Xie, please say Bu Ke Chi. Xie Xie. Thank you. That was wonderful. So now we're going to get to hear our uh, from our student council speeches. We have seven. Uh, candidates this time because there was a tie. So we have, instead of six, we have seven student council speeches to listen to. And uh, and we also made one other change is that instead of making posters and hanging them around school, we made a virtual poster slide deck that we will share tomorrow. So we will begin voting just after that and need to have votes in by Friday. So let I'm looking forward to hearing from these student council candidates. Hi, my name is Mia Kane, and I would like to be president because I am trustworthy and I work hard. Even though we are in a pandemic, I intend to help make these next three months great for everyone. If you do vote for me, I won't make any promises that I can't keep. I will be loyal and reliable. I plan on finding ways to bring back the spirit and the amazing Parker experience that you were used to before the pandemic. Vote for me and these next three months will turn from blah to bling. My name is Mia Kahn and I'm asking for your vote. Hello, my great school. My name is Henry Longman. I am virtually speaking to you right now because I need your votes to become student council president. Even though you can't make a bad decision with your votes this year, here are some reasons why you should vote for me. Reason number one, I'm easy to talk to. 
If you want something from the student council, tell me. I hope to open a suggestion box for ideas if you can't get to me. Reason number two. I'm a good listener. I want to hear your ideas. If you have a problem, tell me. Reason number three. I have a great school with lots of creative minds. Your ideas are only carried by me, not created by me. That means I have ideas from lots of perspectives to give. If you still don't know who to vote for, my sister says that if you put puppies on the screen, you'll vote for me. But if you're more of a person that likes real animals, but if you're more of a cat person, or anything else, here you go. So in conclusion, you should vote for Henry, he is the one. Vote for Henry, he'll get things done. Hi, I'm Luke Blair and I want to be your student council president. I am a hard worker and I have a lot of great ideas. I also have experience serving in student council and I know how to make things happen. Fluffy pancakes, sizzling bacon, delicious eggs, savory sausage. <sighs> Sound good? Let's have breakfast for lunch again this year. Does anyone like to draw? I do too. And that's why I'd like to hold a winter drawing contest sponsored by the student council. The competition would be by grade level and each winner would get a prize. The, all the drawings would be displayed around campus and on the school website. This year has been hard on many of us, but it has been harder on the people in our community who are struggling to put food on the table. That's why I think each student should just bring one dollar to put in a shoebox in their classroom. If we all did this, that would be over four hundred dollars we can donate to the San Diego Food Bank to help families in our community have enough food to eat this holiday season. And remember, vote for Luke Blair because I'm going to raise this school up in the air. Thank you. Hello, my name is Claire Makeley and I wanna be your student council president. Yes, this is only my second year here at Parker, but I've already learned so much. At a school like Parker, you get so many amazing opportunities, and that's why I want to represent it as being president. There's not much I want to change, but here are some of my ideas. A virtual dance party, a virtual movie night, possibly breakfast for lunch, and of course, I want to hear your voice. So, whenever you see me in the hallways, you can come up to me and tell me your ideas, or you can just email me. I'm already representing Parker by being a squire, but I want to do more to help our school. I'm responsible, organized, committed, and I will take being president very seriously. Parker is amazing, but I want to make it even better. I know these times are crazy, but it won't be like this forever. So let's make this semester one to remember. Show you care, vote for Claire. Hi, my name is Ava. Today I'm running for student council president. I've been at Francis Parker since JK, so I know this school extremely well. I'm up for any challenges that this position will bring. I am sharing two ideas with you today. My first idea is maybe one day during lunch we can eat cultural foods from all around the world because we may not have the cultural fair this year due to the COVID-19. My second idea is maybe before our winter break we can have a pajama day. I think that would be fun. If you have ideas that you would like to share with me, make sure to email me at aramos2028 at francisparker.org. Don't forget to vote Ava. Good morning, fellow students, staff, and administrators. My name is Pierce Robinson, and I'm a fifth grader in Miss Buddy's class. As I prepare to depart my elementary school, I would like the opportunity to make a memorable trimester for you guys. Leading the school with wide initiatives. I have many new ideas I can't wait to share with you. First, let me share a little bit about myself and why I'd be the best candidate for president. I've been here at Francis Parker for seven years now. I'm confident and have a purpose with driving leadership. I am honest, hardworking, willing to serve others, a good listener, a good communicator, 
and a good decision maker. I realized that an importance of a team, the choice to be socialized, lead a fabulous group of students and get more familiar with the different types of students and faculty. Yes, I can do and will do for each and every one of you. With your help, I just want to partake in this by leading the school wide initiative, bring in more than just spirit to our school, but culture. things that we should blast about loud and proud, but aren't taking a stance to make them reality. With me, you can rest assured that I will do my best and work with teachers alike to create new ideas for Maybe us. a trophy case to display our many accolades and talents and creative poetry and positivity while to write and express ourselves. We can bring things to our school that no other school has. We can make Francis Parker unique and it starts with voting for Pierce for president of student council. How about a school-wide dance contest and the winner will receive, well, just vote for me and you'll find out. Thank you for listening and remember, your choice, your voice, vote Pierce! Hi there, it's you know me, Miss Mary Lou. And if you don't know me, I'm still Shreya. Today I'm here to tell you why I'd be a great fit for school president. Firstly, I have gone to Francis Parker since JK, and I have also been in student council before, so I have some experience. But we all know this year is much different than prior years. As I've mentioned before, this year is very different than prior years. But I know we can make it through together if we adapt to current situations. Listening to students is my top priority. Even if there's a small idea or suggestion to make the school better, I will give all I got to make it happen. No one should have to feel invisible. Instead, they should have a voice. I may not give everyone candy or hot chocolate every day, but if I'm elected, I will try my hardest to help anyone, students and staff. For instance, some students want salt and pepper shakers in the middle of the cafeteria tables. Another example, is since we can't really have a suggestion box this year, I was thinking if I was elected for school president, you could email me so that everyone is safe, be able to voice their opinion. Even online learners like me can give suggestions to make this year a more fun environment for everyone. I know whoever is chosen for school president this year will try their hardest to make Parker a better place than it already is. And I will continue to do my part to help. Remember to vote for Shreya D because East or West, Shreya's about. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Those were wonderful. Thank you so much. It's going to be a hard decision for voting. Um, now we have Miss Bellingham. She has a poem to share with you. So since it's our first full week of December, I'm going to share one of my favorite poems to ring in this month and time of year with you. It's called, I Heard a Bird Sing by Oliver Herfold. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December, a magical thing and sweet to remember. We are nearer to spring than we were in September. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December. I think this sweet little poem reminds us to have hope that spring is near or nearer than it was in September. I think it helps us remember that we can get through the winter, that even during difficult times, there is beauty and possibility all around us. I also love this poem because it's easy to memorize. So I wonder what beautiful and magical things you might notice this week, this first full week of December. Have a great 